you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. We'll see you with someone by your left and right and we'll pray in the spirit just for one minute asking him to give us genuine encounters supernatural solutions go ahead and pray go ahead and pray everywhere for family connected across the globe we're praying now lord we're here believing Ready to receive, ready to receive. Sabalaka parakato sabranda balato siata. Ready to receive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ready to receive. Holy, holy, blessed that is He who comes. In the name of our God, holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who Praying, crying your heart for an expectation. Shalebege baka kapranda kabalakus, raka tepranda gebeleke baranto sobreski bat lipanda prati gebeleke pa. For that healing, for that deliverance, for that open door, for that turn around, we come to you, the God of Joshua, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind, that you visit, that you bless, that you heal, that you anoint. Shebelege baraka kabranda gebelege baras shade gebelente kebradus diata. Make sure you are praying. This is part of the meeting. Release your faith. Ena thala barakus kabrade gebelege bata shale gebrende geberege te bala daba she geberentos kabrata kabala gata kabrata kabal. But I will not go back the way I came. I will not go back with that condition. For in Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray. Every long-standing issue. It ha- the Bible says, after you have suffered for a while, there is timing to it. When it goes beyond that timing, it deserves your cursing it by faith. Is someone ready to pray? Be angry enough. Any long-standing issue gives way finally tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and be serious. Pray. Every long-standing issue. Long-standing financial issue. Long-standing health concern. Long-standing spiritual issue. Demonic attack. Plaguing your life and family. It gives way tonight. Shabela sobalantas kabretiga labaratos legrem bebe sabas kabalaka parakatos yata long standing issues 
They bow to the name of Jesus tonight. They bow to the name of Jesus tonight. They bow to the Lordship of the Christ tonight. Someone pray. Someone pray. Pray with faith. You're not whirling away time. Pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Final prayer before you are seated. My Father, give me rest round about. Rest round about. That I will look at every area of my life and see the faithfulness of God. Someone pray. Give me rest round about. Rest round about. Not relational rest at the expense of my spiritual life. Not spiritual rest at the expense of my finances. Give me rest round about. A desperate person is crying. Give me rest round about. Someone with holy anger and dissatisfaction is crying. Give me rest round about. Rest in ministry. Rest in my family. Rest with my children. Rest with my spouse. Someone pray. Career rest. In the name of Jesus, give me rest round about. Rest round about. Let my life speak for your praise. Rest round about. Few more seconds, you're praying. Rest round about. I press by faith, I insist by faith, rest round about, that you put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise unto our God, the Bible says many will see and hear and put their trust in you.
one last prayer you're going to pray i'm telling you the power of god is so strong in this place listen i want you to insist father i've committed my life to revealing your glory therefore every planting that is not of the christ must leave health wise must leave in the area of finances lift your voice release your faith This is, I'm just acting and flowing by the Spirit. Who is like Him? The Lion and the Lamb Seated on the floor Mountains bow down Every ocean roll To the Lord of Lords My God, such a mighty anointing in this place. Who is lying? The lion and the lamb seated on the road. Mountains bow down and every ocean rolls to the Lord of spirit of delay i'm praying now i'm seeing the anointing of the spirit breaking chains of delay now in the name of jesus i decree and declare now every chain of delay inside outside overflow one two three four five from any nation you're connected i declare delay be broken be broken Delay be broken in the name of Jesus that everything that has held you down. Hold on, listen, listen. 
please bring them out hear me you see when delay operates in a man's life believe me the only thing that grows in your life is your age nothing else grows your wisdom your influence the prevailing power of the word of god at work in your life i decree and declare again in the name of jesus that every orchestration that represents delay kaparus kabarata in the mighty name of jesus the son of the living god i command that it leaves your life now it leaves your destiny now it leaves your family now now i want to release the grace for speed i will keep praying this prayer till it works in your life speed is real i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i declare koinonia hear me by this apostolic and prophetic grace inside and outside take the grace for speed receive that grace now i shift you by the spirit i shift you by prophecy speed in destiny speed in ministry in the name of jesus 10 years in one month five years in two months in the name of jesus now i want to pray hear me the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father that means the father is not the only farmer there are other farmers that attempt to plant it says while men slept the enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat i want to pray i believe in the power of god to set free and that every spirit that is not of the christ finding expression in and around your life it's time for it to go at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and the power of the holy ghost will bring mighty deliverance unto people father thank you because you honor your word one two three shout jesus i command every devil of darkness by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus out of their lives out of their destinies inside outside i declare blotting out handwritings and ordinances the bible says that spoke against you he nailed it to his cross i declare by the power of the holy spirit be free now be free now yokes of ancestry operations of darkness be free now the lord is showing me a padlock in the realm of the spirit i see what looks like a padlock i declare i don't know who that is for but everything that has been locked and is not by god i command an opening now i command an opening now even by the spirit of the lord an opening now hallelujah please listen to me we are going to be very very fast tonight so that we'll redeem time why do we minister to people as a reflection of the love of jesus there are people who come here with burdens they come here with yokes and if it is true that god is here then their lives must show i speak to all who are in front here that everything that is not of the christ i stand as one sent by god go now out of their lives and their destinies forever <laughs> hallelujah now please listen please listen to me we are going to pray for the sick shortly but it is not every time that this happens to me but i'm seeing two angels standing by my left and right and every time i see that happens the lord wants me to move i i don't listen it's just to pass the rose we'll do it very quickly except god is not god that as he passes by you is a triumphant entry that everything that represents shame 
and reproach even by the spirit the power of God will rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare release destinies now in the name of Jesus let it end let it end now let it end I open gates I'm seeing a door being opened I open gates now I open gates now I open gates now by the spirit and the power of God I open gates now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus overflow to lift your hands the power of God is coming to you gates be open now right now as I walk around road to row right now in the name of Jesus every planting that is not of God let it go now let it go now let it go now let it go now by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus be free now be free now be free now my God I'm seeing arrows all around here I lift them now out of your life out of your life out of your life out of your destiny in the name of Jesus out of your destiny I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, hey. I know the lamb. Let me pray for all of you here. Do not, no, you don't have to come forward. Right where you are, I'm stretching my hands. Everything right now, the power of God is coming upon you. Take that grace, take that anointing, take that anointing right now. Chains break now, chains break now, chains break now, chains break now, chains break now. Chains break now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three, lift your hands. It's time for God to visit you. That everything that is not the planting of the Lord, it's time for it to keep me now. Please lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, satisfy me early with your mercy, with your goodness. Lift your voice and pray. Everyone, please lift your voice and pray. 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 Sir, come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Where are you coming from, sir? Where are you coming from? Kufena Hills. Come, sir. Because I'm seeing the Lord turning your life around. What is this?
how long has this been sir three years now. three years you believe that the lord can set you free amen in the name of jesus amen. the bible says now the lord is that spirit as i was passing i just saw you and then the lord said to minister to you will pray for the sick now but i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus are you together you are the wife yes. in the name of jesus i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit be set free now in the name of jesus and madam hold my hands they will not tell you you have something in your stomach you hear me in the name of jesus i'm seeing something growing in your stomach i must pray for you in the name of jesus be set free be set free by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus we are going to pray for the sick i apologize it's it's quite dusty outside but i had to do that now please listen the ministry of healing is real the power of god is able to be extended to men to correct anomalies in their bodies why because the only platform that your spirit can use to remain effective on earth is your body the bible says a body has thou prepared the body must be prepared a body has thou prepared for me so everything that inflicts death every sickness is a process of death it is death being ministered not like death to the flesh but death is an attempt satan never brings sickness to leave it at sickness the goal is to eventually see to it that your body deteriorates to a point that your spirit can no longer live inside and then that transition happens whether or not the purposes of god have been achieved or not so the idea is not just cancer it's not just an issue on wheelchair it's an attempt to cut short your life by the ministration of death it can happen gradually for many years but you can stand upon the truth and the integrity of god's word and allow the anointing of the spirit to correct all of these things and this is what we want to do i know that there are people who have flown in from several places there are people who are standing trusting god for healing um, we usually take time to lay hands and minister to people not because we have to do it but it's just a being that it's a miracle service dedicated to minister to people we do that very very quickly so this is what will happen two things at the same time um your requests all of your requests if you are yet to write one you can pen it down by faith but while you are doing that overflow one um two three four and two b extends to um second equa thank you wherever you are and you're trusting god for a touch of god for healing please i'd like you to move to the front the front of your various stations overflow one to your projector screen overflow two right there overflow two b you just move out a little to where the barricade is and you'll stop there overflow four to your screen and then overflow three there those connecting online from whatever nation stand believing by faith you can make your way those in the main auditorium just come stand here but now listen please listen please listen whether you are in overflow one overflow two overflow three or four if your condition please listen if your condition has to do with cancer or any death sentence death sentence please don't just come emotionally cancer particularly or any death sentence please come to the main auditorium i want to minister to you myself praise the lord god bless you quickly please come please come we'll make this very very fast the name of the lord is a strong tower the bible declares it says the righteous runs into it and they are saved i'm glad and honored that we have mighty servants of god in our midst and together as ministers of the gospel we will just release our faith to see to it that the power of god is extended to us praise the lord hallelujah amen please whilst you are standing just stand believing in the name of jesus hallelujah the bible says that the people gathered they came to hear and to be healed 
you have heard the word of God and faith has risen as hands are laid upon you I want you to believe by faith we are operating under a corporate grace a corporate anointing father we decree and we declare even by the Spirit of God that as we minister to the sick let your power let the miracle working power of Jesus move so mightily in our midst in the name of Jesus heal the sick turn our lives around in Jesus name I pray amen and amen hallelujah so as the worship team leads us through that session of worship please i like for your faith to be released we just minister under the corporate anointing and for those of you here who are in ministry you can stand by faith receiving and believing for that grace to see the deposit of the spirit find expression the sun has eternal life i have the sun so I have eternal life. Has God helped someone tonight? So that when we rise to pray, you will be angry in your spirit. I will not go back the way I came. I may not know your problem. Except some of them are revealed to me prophetically. But it doesn't matter the situation. You can be angry. If it's healing, you know what to do now. You watch for the word. I may not even have to mention your case. Maybe you are outside, somewhere scattered at the, the back end. It doesn't matter. Once there is the hearing of faith, maybe you are connected in a hospital. You have nothing to lose. You are not paying to receive. So release your heart. Receive. Give God a chance. You have given things of lesser value, lesser integrity a chance. Why don't you give the God of the Bible a chance? Can he make my life absolutely can he help me? Absolutely. Can he redefine my possibilities? Apostle, my own is that I have made foolish decisions in my life. As I'm seated right now, I don't even know where to start from. Let me tell you where to start from. Follow the pattern of the prodigal son. Come to yourself. Come to yourself. The prodigal son too did not know what to do. Come to yourself. Number two, allow yourself to be assisted. That's why God sent us here. When the prodigal son said to himself, I will arise and go. So when it's time to come and be saved, he will connect you to the Father. That's where you start from. Then the word of God comes and begins to culture your understanding. Your possibilities are a product of your mentality, enhanced by demonic presence. So your deliverance will start by that healing of your spirit called salvation. Then a reorientation of your spiritual understanding through the word of God. That's how your deliverance happens, holistically. Listen, when you understand the kingdom system, you will know that there is a way out of everything. There is a way out of everything. There is a way out of everything. I'm going to request that you lay your hands on your head and for the next two or three minutes, please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I desire a testimony. Let it be clear that I met you tonight. Someone pray. Let it be clear that I met you tonight. Let it be clear that I met your power tonight. Let it be clear that your wisdom has rested upon me tonight. Let it be clear that you heal through my life. I know you heal, but Lord, give me an evidence, a token tonight outside pray let it be clear through my life that you still anoint men let it be clear through my life that you still lift burdens let it be clear through my life that you still cause men to remember men let it be clear through my life that a book of remembrance can be opened a preacher pray a tired mother pray a tired father pray someone in debt pray 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 Pray. Someone tired of curses, tired of demonic operations, pray. You came here to receive. You came here to receive. Sali kapelando salakafata malakata. Lebrakata belagata paratos. Let it be clear through my life that you can place fire upon a man. Let it be clear through my life that your favor can speak in the life of a man. Let it be clear through my life that you restore. Let it be clear through my... Give me the experience of the world. 
that I become a living epistle after this miracle service. One more minute, you are praying across the globe. Make sure you pray. Release your heart, release your faith, knowing that God is the only helper, the only one who can help men. Longevity of help resides only with the God of the Bible. All lasting help comes from God and God alone. Number two, you must have defined expectations. I'm helping to give definition to your expectations. Number three, you must believe in the Lord and believe in His servant. Believe in the Lord and believe in the vessel that He will use. Number four, be prepared to take actions of faith, actions of obedience. You're receiving the manifestation of God's promises is faith dependent. Insist, I must walk away with a testimony, a testimony of breakthrough, the help of men, deliverance, rising, lifting, a job, promotion, fresh fire upon my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Rise up on your feet now, please. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? This is what a miracle service is about. You are cultured by the word to know how to receive. You will see how easy it is for the power of God to touch you. Because once faith is there, now you understand what to do. You make the assignment easy for the Holy Spirit to reach you and give you testimonies. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to bring all those under the anointing. will be very, very fast. Very fast. You are not shouting. You are not doing anything. The power of God is going to begin to move. Please let me have those people here. It's not a deliverance happening to them. There is a kind of impartation that God is bringing. And I want you to bring them out. I will pray deliverance shortly afterwards. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you are revealing this to me, I am praying that everyone, I am seeing like oil from a bottle just flowing on the ground. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must drink of that oil, that, that oil that sets you apart for some producing favor, for some rewriting your destiny in the name of Jesus. Please, very quickly, let me have them out. Salimeneko sabraskadalatu sabratizila. Enando sabretzidalapusiata. Inside this auditorium, outside, everywhere, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing oil by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it rest on people right now. Let it flow to you. Let it flow to you. For someone is bringing ease to your life. You've gone through hardship. Hardship. This is what God is taking out of your life. This cause of hardship. This yoke of hardship. Cause of hardship. Yoke of hardship. The cause of hardship. There are families who have gone through this. In the name of Jesus, God is able to give men rest. I pray that this oil will flow to you right now. Outside, inside. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it flow. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised at the things that begin to happen to you. Some of you, even from this service, right now, before the service is done, miracles, miracles, supernatural manifestations of God's power.
In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing stones. I believe this represents altars. I want to pray now. I'm seeing stones. In the name of Jesus, if there be anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of ancestry, activities of darkness, altars, and yokes, manifesting in your dreams, stopping doors of favor, cutting short the ministry of helpers, you are going to shout the name Jesus and let that fire rest upon you and consume every altar. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I cause every altar. I cause every altar in the name of Jesus by the blood by the blood of the eternal covenant by the blood of the eternal covenant I arrest every spirit tying down lives I arrest every spirit tying down families you give way now in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah I'm hearing the, the, the spirit of heaviness there's a, there's a manifestation of that spirit in the Bible that you'll be given a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness I don't know who that is but an anointing is coming upon you that spirit of heaviness manifesting as depression manifest as suicidal thoughts in the name of Jesus now I declare let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken now the spirit of heaviness be loose from it right now hallelujah I'm seeing the vision of a gentleman and others are walking forward but what I'm seeing in my vision is you are walking backward this is what I'm seeing not that you are looking back you are walking back while others are going forward this is what I see you know let me tell you backwardness is a curse because the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light you can be backward in ministry in cream, uh, I mean progressive decline if I will use that expression that means there is no day that is ever better than the previous one no all your yesterdays are always better than your tomorrows I want to cause that spirit right now anyone here Jesus the spirit of backwardness responsible for retrogression financial retrogression responsible for ministry responsible for the decline in families i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now. hear me the lord is saying i should tell someone there is an explanation as to what killed your father there is an explanation as to what killed your mother. There is an explanation as to what is killing the men in your family. I decree and declare any programming from hell that after every season somebody must die as a sacrifice, die by witchcraft or by accident. I decree and declare right now, let fire from heaven, my God, fall upon every altar, every altar fueling death, every altar fueling death. Every altar falling dead be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Adonai. <laughs> Grande Belen Sopratis Kabira Kusila Kapria Gata Baladu Emeleno Katafraska Belege Barados Hallelujah The Bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of The Lord wants to minister to someone There is nothing good you do that is perceived as good It's like there is a covering cast on you And people always misinterpret what you do Always whether it's in the place of work, whether it's in the house of God, anything good you do, it is always misinterpreted. I pray for you. 
every covering cast on anyone misrepresenting you making you look evil whereas you are good making you look dishonest whereas you are honest i tear that veil now 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 hallelujah the lord is speaking to me about someone you are always afraid of good things because they never last it's like there is a curse in your family nobody celebrates longevity of good things if you rejoice over a job death will come and cancel the story if you rejoice over a child that is born another tragedy always comes to cancel what god is doing i want to pray for that person not everybody but there's someone here and that anointing will come upon you as i pray in the name of jesus whatever makes evil to outlive good whatever make the testimony of god's faithfulness to die prematurely over your family i come by this anointing and i come by this mantle right now in the name of jesus be delivered now be delivered now did you bring a guitar please play the strings for me you always return to your parents homes after you marry it's a spirit nobody stays successfully in marriage it, something must happen either a quarrel with your spouse either whatever it is it's a demonic enchantment in the name of jesus i'm praying for someone right now release your faith as i pray there is a lady i'm seeing you you are from Edo state this is what happens to your family nobody either they get pregnant outside of wedlock or even if they make it to marriage it's only as if they just went for an excursion they return back you are from a state the power of god is touching you where is that lady if is there someone like that you are from a state this this is what happens to your family in the name that is above all names i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead where are you from at those states yes sir. how many are you in your family we are six six yes sir. are they married yes sir my, my other sister have four children from four different men four children from yes, four sir. different men yes sir something will just happen and they will send her back home something will happen and the men oh she married four different men yes sir and had children and they sent her back yes, home sir. that's all right that's okay the bible says even the lawful captives don't be too quick to condemn people though. There are influences that move people, even the lawful captives. What God says to one, he says to all. I want to use this, my dear sister, as a point of contact. If there is any spirit that says you will not enjoy your home, that you will be there and be driven away like a fugitive in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, that yoke is hereby broken. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I don't know if it's you or your sister. You've had like three or four people die. Children. You give birth but they die. Either they come out a stillbirth or maybe some kind of premature experience. This is, this is children dying. If there's such a person, let me speak to you. Else we'll just continue. In the name that is above all names. It's a spirit. Either you give birth to a child and then the child dies. You see that. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I decree and declare. Whatever eats up children. To make sure that you don't deliver. Look up. The Bible says, I saw a mystery in heaven. 
and that mystery was a woman who was pregnant with a man child she was about to give birth and he said a dragon came from nowhere and stood just waiting for her to give birth so that she will eat the child a child may mean a physical child but a child may mean a vision a child may mean anything that comes out of you a product of your sacrifice and creativity i pray for you every demonic thing waiting to eat up your sacrifice your sweat and even physical children by the blood of the eternal covenant that agreement is hereby cancelled that agreement with hell is hereby cancelled that agreement with hell is hereby cancelled that agreement with hell is hereby cancelled I'm hearing a name I believe that should be the northern part of Nigeria Godia Godia that's Thanksgiving in Hausa who has that name Godia there's somebody with that name I want to pray for you please make sure if that is not your name don't worry you can stay where you are and receive I'm hearing the name Godia then I'm hearing the name Ephraim 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 who is that person Ephraim the Lord is saying rebuke the spirit of death Ephraim I'm hearing that name rebuke the spirit of death there is a plot to take that person by hell Ephraim in the name of Jesus if that is your name please if it's not your name just sit back where you are and I'm not a prophet of doom when God reveals it is because he wants to redeem Ephraim in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you that no arrow will be fired into your body as mysterious sickness that the hospital cannot diagnose and suddenly you wake up one morning and the man dies in the night I pray for you what's your name I pray for you what God says to one you see the thing about prophecy is not just about God isolating individuals at the mercy of all at the expense of others no God only uses someone as a point of contact to announce many people's condition are we together now so you receive by faith please if you are not in the category that I call where house of order make sure you stay back Godia who is Godia all of you there is a woman here God wants to set you free you don't have to come out every time you take in a man comes to you in a dream to try to molest you and even while you are already once that happens you must lose the pregnancy it doesn't matter what happens you will find out you start seeing blood and that becomes the end of it i need to pray for you because it's a season you don't need to come out you are going to receive by faith this is something every time you get married it's like there is another husband and once that man shows up in the dream you must lose that child doesn't matter how many months of pregnancy you have it's a demonic programming the Bible says casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. I'm still praying again. I use this gentleman, Ephraim. I'm speaking by the influence of the spirit. Every death, the plague of death, by the cause of sickness, mysterious sickness that cannot be diagnosed in the hospital. And someone just keeps emaciating until you die. Looking like maybe HIV or something. In the name of Jesus, we cancel it now. 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 I'm saying it by the anointing. What killed your father will not kill you. What killed your father will not kill you. We speak life in the name of Jesus. Go dear, I want to pray for you. Is there someone with a name like Asabe? That looks like a Muslim name. Huh? Your auntie, where are you from? I'm from Kaduna. So I'm thinking of somebody here. Well, I will pray for you, but Asabe, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. I'm still hearing that name again. Asabe looks like a Muslim name. Or, well, sometimes Christians can, can have it too. Please verify so we don't have people. What is he coming out for? Your name is Asabe? Huh? Your mom? Okay, let him come. If, if it's his mom. Where is she? Maiduguri? Plateau? Okay, no problem. You can come. 
when God reveals things like this, ladies and gentlemen, He's not wasting your time. And don't just focus on those who are in front. I'm saying it again. Prophecy uses an individual case as a point of contact. Are we together? It's the same grace that rests on someone. The Lord is showing me a lady. You never have profitable relationships. This is marriage relationships. You are a very beautiful lady. You love God. But the moment a man, and I'm seeing that a curse was pronounced by a man of God over your grandfather. This is what I'm seeing. A curse was pronounced by a man of God over your grandfather. That because of something he did to insult the name of Jesus, that it, it, it will be like, it's like a, a curse out of anger. I'm not a prophet of doom. God is solving issues here. If a man comes to you and says, I want to see your parents, that statement alone, something happens. Either his finances will go down or people will advise it against you. But I pray, let, let fire from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray mercy. Whatever made that cause to come upon your family and your bloodline by the blood of the eternal covenant, I cry mercy. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, what is the lamb that was slain? He was already slain. You cannot suffer the consequences of what grandfathers or forefathers did. Therefore, let fire destroy that altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. They want to go and see your parents. And it looks like an embargo just comes. And you cannot even understand it. Character. Loving Jesus. Listen, look at me. Believe me. I don't mean to scare you. But you must understand spirit transactions over the destinies of men. Otherwise, if you fool yourself that life is only scientific or physical or sociological, you will be cheated a thousand times. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you, Asabe, in the name of Jesus. My sister, look at me, that lady. What do you do? I'm a lawyer, but I work in an NGO. An NGO. Where are you from? I'm from Adama State. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I'm seeing that you, I don't know if you are doing it or you're going to start a business. This is what God will use to prosper you in a way. Huh? God will lift you. You know how God leads somebody and uses the person to wipe the tears of their family members. I place grace upon you. Go and write it. Make sure you go through this prophetic word and act on it by faith. I don't know who God needs to raise like that. There will always be someone God will raise to wipe the tears of a family. It is God's intention to reach everybody but it starts with one person. I'm praying for you and an anointing is going to come on people now. If you are the one anointed to be the opener of ancient doors over your family that a door that has refused to open God is anointing you at this miracle service. You are carrying the mantle of a warrior. You are the one who will open that door ministerially. Open that door financially. Open that door maritally. Right now receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Receive that impartation. Whether male or female, I say it again. The grace that opens doors, that you are the first person that God will use to deliver your family from shame, from reproach. Let that grace rest on you now. In the name of Jesus. Now, let me pray for those in front so that they can go back to their seats for those who can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, the Lord brought you out here. The graces you have received remain with you. And the demonic spirits that have troubled you, hear the word of the Lord. I command those influences to live your life forever. Never to return again. In Jesus' name. So those who are under the anointing in front and they can't, please... Let them walk victoriously back to their seats. Hallelujah. Godia, did I prophesy? Have I spoken about them? I want to pray for you. Behold.
the glory of the Lord. Behold the lion and the lamb. Behold the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. I cancel this obituary I'm saying. I'm saying that this week, I don't know if the person is here, but I'm seeing a car accident, a car and a tree. This is, and the car is ramping to a tree, and everybody in the vehicle, whole family with all the children, in the name of Jesus, I cry unto the God of all grace, we cancel it now. It's always a demonic thing. Always a demonic thing. We cancel it now. Oh, we exert dominion over this vision. We cancel this accident now. We cancel this accident now. I declare the covering of the blood upon your head. You and your children will not die by accident. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. There's a woman here. You are a teacher. Teacher in a secondary school. Teacher in a secondary school. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing God wants to do something. I'm seeing at least four children. You are a woman. You are a teacher. You teach. That's what you do. In a secondary school. Um, I pray for you. Please place your hand. I want to rebuke. There's something anything that is growing in your stomach whether as fibroid or whatever it is in the name that is above all names i decree and declare now let that demonic thing die you had a dream and in that dream you saw a diagnosis and it was cancer i'm not saying you have cancer you had a dream Please, if there's such a person here, I want you to come out. Come. How do I know what dream you had? Come. You had a dream. It was a diagnosis in that dream. And it was cancer. Do you know? Please look up. I don't mean to scare you. It's a miracle service. I remember back then in Zaria. That was the first time I saw that vision. I'm not saying if you have cancer. I'm going to pray for the sick. I've not prayed for the sick yet. There's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I remember praying for a woman many years ago and this woman said someone came to her in a dream holding a syringe and saying this is HIV, uh, uh, HIV virus injected her in the dream. She woke up physically and started having symptoms of HIV and then the trouble is that it was not only her, it started spreading to the, you can imagine a family, nothing at all that should bring HIV and yet all of them like that HIV. This work of ministry is like medicine. You will see a lot of things. A lot of things. But the Bible says, thanks be to God. I pray for all of you. Any planting of Satan. Huh? I will pray for the ones who I just mentioned now with the case for cancer. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you, Godia. In the name of Jesus. Between now and August, for one of you, one of you, between now and August, God is telling me that what you will do in your life will bring you rest because this has been your prayer rest and one of the issues is marriage rest it will it will happen so fast it will surprise you in the name of jesus christ it will happen so fast it will surprise you in the name of jesus and for anything that the devil has planted help that lady in your stomach fibroids or whatever growths i curse it right now it stops growing and it dies permanently help that lady in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus a dream was it not through a dream solomon received wisdom dreams are vehicles they can transfer nonsense and they can transfer grace a dream is also a portal in the spirit father in the name of jesus i pray for you i know some of you here didn't really have a dream you just came up but no problem the mercy of god but hallelujah obedience sometimes when you want to receive from god just just obey amen but let's pray god is a merciful god
Father, I decree and declare, anyone carrying anything in their body now that came from a dream realm and is waiting quietly to manifest as cancer, waiting, you are, you are beginning to see symptoms, pain, weakness, growth, that looks like appendicitis but it's not appendicitis in the name of jesus because for someone i I'm, I'm, i don't want you to, to i'm seeing it looks like almost like an ovarian cyst but it's not it's not a cyst is is growing to become something that is cancerous in the name of jesus we cry unto the god of heaven let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body let it stop growing now and die from this body i say it again let it stop growing now and die from this body in the name of jesus i may not have the liberty to describe what i'm saying you're a lady but you need help this one what you need is both prayer and medical attention please listen to me now what you need because there's, there's wisdom in dealing with things. Because with what the Lord is revealing to me, this is something that is a reproductory problem. You may need to meet the medical uh, uh, people, maybe immediately to help you. Because I'm going to pray for you, but in all honesty, you also need to be attended to medically. Because I'm seeing that this has, is not something that is good. And let me use this opportunity and challenge believers. We are people of faith. But take responsibility over your health. Are we together? There is nothing wrong. And it is not lack of spirituality. When you find yourself. Maybe there is some pain. There is some boil. There is some growth. There is some you know whatever it is. And sometimes people do not want to look like they are not believing God. So they don't take medical steps. There is nothing wrong. I do not believe there is anything wrong. Are we together? Most challenges can be managed at the stage of infancy at least medicine has been that advanced and while you are trusting god to step in there are some things that only medicine would deal with because the, the condition of this lady is not something to say in public it's not safe it's not wise even but let me advise you don't feel bad you can go to the medical stand and you can talk with the doctors they are trained and they will help you and recommend a solution for you now Otherwise, you're going to destroy your organs in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God comes to give us wisdom. Are we learning now? So that don't be careless. While you are trusting God for a miracle, it's important to take personal responsibility. Personal responsibility. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing someone I need to pray for you. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how many variations of diabetes, but you have sugar diabetes sugar diabetes and if i don't pray for you this thing has produced a lot of internal injuries i want to pray for that person diabetes i don't know whether it's a young person elderly person i don't mean to embarrass you but i'm having a very strong prompting within my heart to pray for people with diabetes so even if you don't have the courage to come out no problem when i begin to pray for people open up your heart to receive but diabetes we need to pray that why is she here the lady the teacher look at me you are a teacher where private school teacher secondary primary school teacher yeah, private school teacher secondary teacher are you married how many children do you have i have four one gone one is gone these are teachers okay diabetes we're family we're family so once you can stand in well i won't say you can stand in for someone who have too many people come out if you are standing for someone just remain on your seat and connect by faith so that we have people who are standing in for themselves just bring mama gently here as we pray that devil out of her body look at me my dear you're a teacher too in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you um yes you just put them one side i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead ah i'm praying here but what I'm seeing has nothing to even do with the spirit of death. Look at me. This lady wearing... Look at me. I want... Where are you from? Ogi State. I need to rebuke a spirit. There's a dangerous spirit of death hovering around your life. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name that is above all names. 
the sound of death will not be heard in your family again. I curse that spirit right now. And I declare be delivered now. If you have diabetes, come out. Oh, let me pray for you. When God speaks, it's because there's an anointing on it. There's an anointing on it. Fathers, mothers, if you are not sure, don't just come out for a medical condition. Remember Gehazi? Don't come out for a condition you don't know anything about. So please, make. if you are yet to diagnose it, just come. I need to pray. These young people, are they on their own? Huh? Do they understand what I said? Find out, please. Okay. No, no, I know. I'm talking about our, our little ones here. You, you, diagnosed with diabetes? Two of them? Okay, I can see it. There will be mighty testimonies. I'm not a doctor, but I've seen people die from this satanic thing. It's a silent killer. Madam, the anointing is on you, this woman. I decree and declare right now. Huh? Let, let that demonic thing. You see, most of it is demonic. I'm telling you this. I lay my hands upon you by faith. Every spirit planting diabetes that in spite of treatment, in spite of the drugs, it does not seem to give way. Help, help that woman. I command right now, be loose from that demonic thing. Be loose from it now. Be loose from it now. Be loose from it now. Every internal injury that has refused to heal or physical injury that has refused to heal traceable to diabetes in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands help that woman let the power of God rest upon you now you shall not die shout amen you shall not die if it has killed someone within your family in the name of Jesus I declare minus you minus you Therefore, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, diabetes be healed now. Diabetes be healed now. Diabetes be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. Thank you. Return to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. God bless you. You know, while we were having the Sound of Revival conference, I made a call. I was, I think that was in US. I was so humbled. I made a call for those who needed to stand in, having their children suffering from mental health or autism. I could not believe the number of people who came out. Now, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not speaking professionally. I don't know what is responsible for this mental health damage and this autism. But I feel led in my spirit to just do this. Now, please listen. If you have a child, you don't necessarily need to come with a child. But if you, you, are, you are standing in trusting God for your child or someone, mental health or autism. Please, very quickly, we have one minute. Come and stand here. I want to speak over your life. Mental health, damage, mental health, damage, or autism. An autistic child, Halena Sobadea. Let's all pray. Let's all pray while they come. It, it doesn't have to be your child. I hear me if you don't have children yet, connect and pray that as I'm praying for them, I'm sowing a seed. Some of those children were born normal. The devil just attacks them to plague them with autism. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Oh, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. Listen. Whether you are standing for your own child, let me say this before we pray. 
And this is particularly to those following online. I want to salute every father and every mother globally managing an autistic child. I want to salute you from the depth of my heart. I have watched the discomfort firsthand that managing autistic children, there are people who had to cancel their jobs completely. Those, some had to relocate to other nations. I remember once meeting a lovely man, a lovely family I visited years ago in London. Lovely people. But they had this child with an aggressive dimension of autism. Like aggressive. If you ever go to bed and leave that child, you may wake up with the house on fire. Are we together? So when we pray for people like this, it's an act of responsibility. Because I tell you, this autism thing is a satanic thing from the pit of hell. Can tie down any destiny. You know, sometimes we have people here after service. I have the honor of praying for some of these people. And you can see a grown young man. The mother cannot live her life again. She suffered to give birth to him and she will still not rest. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. How about the mental health problem? Intelligent people who should be walking. I know one who lacerates himself with a um, knife or objects like this. You see that? Because of anger and frustration. And some of them in that frustration, they go online and then they start connecting with, with extra biblical, spiritual things for solution. They are introduced to all kinds of satanic things. Technology for you. You will see testimonies from this prayer. When, when God speaks, let me tell you, my dear people, if you have an autistic child, take your mind away and look unto Jesus. Release your faith. Don't say, I prayed before. And if you are following online, perhaps you have an autistic child, you can bring the child forward and connect. I'm about to pray for the sick, but it was just put in my heart. Look how many people standing either for their own children or some other people they love. Let's stretch our hands as a family over these ones. Go ahead. Stretch your hands. If God has given you children who are healthy and normal all the way, thank him but show that seed to another family. Lord, visit this family. Wipe their tears. Not to talk of families that have multiple children with autistic conditions. Shalika paros tabalanda katosibata. Koinonia connect by faith. A miracle is about to happen right now. Pray, Lord, deliver these families, deliver these children, give their parents rest. For God's sake, give their parents rest. In Jesus' name I pray. I want to rebuke the spirit that is back of that autistic condition and that demonic condition. Father, I'm praying right now for all the precious families in front. Some of them are parents standing for their children. Some of them are siblings standing for their other siblings. Some of them are loved ones just standing for neighbors and friends. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. The spirit that is back of any autistic condition or any mental health condition. Right now I speak to you here at this miracle service. Leave God's people now. Leave God's people now. Let there be healing for our children now. It doesn't matter how long they've carried it. I pray that the power of God will rest upon them. That those children will sleep and wake up normally. Those who are not able to talk. Some of them that soon after this prayer, they will begin to talk and speak coherently. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is any pattern of it in your bloodline, as you are standing here, we cancel it now. We cancel it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Please return back rejoicing.
Please return back rejoicing. Hallelujah. Please return back rejoicing. I hope you are not tired of receiving. I want to pray a very special prayer right now. And I want you to listen before you come out. It is not something I would usually do. I want you to listen before you come out. You come from a family where there seems to be a cause upon marriages. Marital problems. Either nobody gets married or they never stay. If you understand what I just said, I want to pray for you. You will see people, beautiful ladies, handsome guys, responsible, but it's like nobody. You see, I'm only acting as the Spirit of God. Is I'm not saying if you want to marry. That's not the question. Listen to instructions. If you want to marry, God will release that grace and call forth your spouse. But I'm talking of families. You know that this is a satanic thing. Please come out. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. Do you know? Look up, please. I even hear that there are families where they tell them that if it is to marry properly and have children. Now, please don't feel bad if maybe you've had a child and you're not yet married or you're a single mom. Don't worry, we're a family of love. But I need to say this. I hear that there are families, with all due respect, where they even tell ladies, you better go and find a man who will get you pregnant so that you can trap the person and have a husband. Let me tell you this with all due respect, it's not a kingdom's way. Don't believe in that nonsense. Are we together? You can with dignity of kingdom integrity, marry properly to a good man, a good woman. and. Just because it happened to great grandfather and father, it is your responsibility to fight it and say, It dies from me. This negative pattern. Are we together now? So I'm about to pray. Fire is going to rest on many of you because you may not know what is responsible. Beautiful lady, handsome guy, you love Jesus. Someone comes to meet you and say, I want to see your, your parents, and something just happens like this. But if you agree, to go and have a child or you agree to go and bow to Baal then it looks like it works the devil is a liar God is visiting situations tonight because you see let me tell you for as long as families remain dysfunctional there is a generation that will pay that price now I say this with all due respect but for as long as there is progressive dysfunction in homes eventually a generation there will be a threshold and a generation will pay that price so god is stepping in now to show mercy and i'm glad that some of you are standing do you know what it means as you are standing i told myself as a person i said everything that came from generations past maritally that is not of god i told myself it ends with me that is a covenant i made with my destiny are we together now if you, you did nobody chose where you came from but what you do with the realities before you now is your responsibility if you give excuses and say one day go better i assure you nothing will change but the day you get angry he said the break is gone for you can get angry and say from whatever happened children before marriage okay thank god for those who went before me but you make up your mind that from you all it is going to end once and for all who is ready to make that decision i pray for you some of you is that parents who were not believers in a bid to go and search for solution search for children they fraternize with spirits 
they went to rivers, waters, and entered into covenants out of desperation. Give us children and we'll return them back to you. And some of you are victims of these things right now. Others, parents were sincere. Maybe they have not met Jesus Christ. They went to native doctors and they gave conditions they did not understand. By the blood of the eternal covenant, any altar here tying down marriages by fire from heaven be delivered now. 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 Hear me. Every agreement between your family past and the devil that everyone from this family must worship the devil or worship some shrine you may call it any name whether you call it Aleku whether you call it whatever it is I stand here by the voice of prophecy I cancel every agreement I cancel every agreement from Plateau State to Benway State to Kogi State to the East to the West Every agreement with the waters, agreement with the sea, agreement with spirits, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. My dear sister, every veil on your face that as people look at you in the realm of the spirit they are seeing something else by the power that raised Christ from the dead if you have the faith to believe this prayer I tear that veil right now 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 now let me say this let me say this please listen to me gentlemen I'm going to pray a very special prayer for you now it's a prayer that I prayed for myself and when it's time to pray everybody can receive but the men I want you to receive it the spirit of a servant and a beggar there are families that have that covenant the only way they live is by being beggars if you like go and do a phd anywhere around the world it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard working they are let me tell you it's a cause from hell things can happen temporarily i understand but where it becomes the norm 30 years into marriage the house was built by the wife the car was bought by the wife. The only thing the man is doing is just to live there. It is against divine order. He said, after you have suffered for a while, that the God of all grace will establish you, settle you. Everyone here, that which has fought quality marriages in your family this miracle service you will not forget it in a hurry in the name of Jesus Christ I place an anointing on you the anointing that came on Rebecca that out of the many ladies who were at the water side when the servant of Abraham saw her he knew that this is the wife for Isaac. Let that grace rest on you. And every gentleman here, whether you are standing for yourself, your siblings, or your children, in the name of Jesus, the grace for your hand to be strengthened so that you can move to another season of your life. I decree and declare, let that grace rest on you. In Jesus' name. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. Return to your seat rejoicing. Gentlemen, lend me your attention now. I want to talk to you. I will never raise a people who are only spiritually vibrant and then remain economically incapacitated. It is a curse from the pit of hell. Quote me anywhere. Are we together? 
the inability to provide for your family and to live a life of dignity and honor this is something that you have to fight and fight and fight again please make sure you help the people so that nobody is hurt hallelujah now look up please brothers i'm praying for everyone but i'm praying for you you may not know the implication of this prayer but there are many parents today in their 70s and 80s they are still feeding their children till today mama is using her retirement to feed 8 10 15 children it ought not to be so and it's not like the gentlemen are lazy i don't know why god is moving in this direction today but i believe that god is insisting that the glory of god must be announced in your life are we together yes do you know one of the reasons why people are getting into yahoo and uh, cultism huh? and money ritual i will tell you because everybody wants to make progress and when people are pressed like this they only honor what is consistent with their convictions so when the gentleman wants to make ends meet it is not necessarily out of desperation or wanting money some just want a decent life but since it is not there they watch a friend who was once a beggar and in one month or two months for going to kill somebody or doing something now has a car now has a house no matter what you say there are people who will be desperate enough and say show me even if it's to sacrifice my mother i will sacrifice her so on one hand we don't just tell people stop money ritual stop sin stop this you have to show people the way if you don't show them the way you will be talking nonsense on stage there will people are desperate they will follow the direction of salvation or a semblance of it I want to pray for every gentleman here I confess to you that being established with the dignity of kingdom integrity outside the help of God is almost difficult for many men in our generation today to get a house of your own without stealing without killing without destroying without bribery if God does not help you you'll be wasting your time there are people who have finished school 20 years 25 years they've not had the first job when are they going to how much is one block how much is one cement when are you going to build a house for yourself talk less help others that's where grace comes and i want to pray for you i want you to receive it god is a helper you're the lifter of men the lifter of men i believe that with all my heart father i pray for everyone here but particularly the gentlemen i decree and declare everyone who is genuinely part of this grace by the power that raised christ from the dead whether you are here on ground outside connecting across the globe i pray for you it will do you like a dream the way god will establish you i say from the depth of my heart it will be as if you are dreaming how my god will lift you god will cause productivity to be your second name god will raise strategic relationships as a leverage for you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hands now a healing miracle please lay your hands very quickly a breast lump lay your hands there heart condition lay your hands there headache lay your hands there leg pain lay your hands there if it's a blood disease lay your hands on your heart as a point of contact please let's do that quickly and by faith remember my teaching now is the time to release your faith father in the name of jesus your people have come and many have come to be healed we've come to receive all kinds and all variety of miracles 
but many have come to be healed in the name that is above all names i decree and i declare right now over someone who has been plagued by sickness plagued by infirmity in the name of jesus the spirit that is back of that condition i come against you now koinonia shout a believing amen the spirit that is part of that infirmity be arrested now in the name of jesus now i declare be healed be healed be healed your blood be cleansed bone conditions be healed hiv be healed cancer disappear lumps and growths across various parts of your body they come under arrest now you couldn't walk you came here aided or you know you could not walk i declare strength to your limbs now you came here unable to see begin to see now unable to hear begin to hear now you couldn't move any part of your body your neck your ankles your arms in the name of jesus let life surge to those parts of your body by the power of the holy ghost i decree and declare peptic ulcers be healed pile be healed there's someone you have like a boil inside your armpit severe discomfort be healed now there's someone don't be embarrassed but i'm saying this you have and i've seen this many times you have what they call mouth odor it's it's a very pungent smell you know about this and it's affected you you've done your best looks like some cavity problem in the name of jesus christ whilst you make the medical efforts to deal with it i'm praying for you let the spirit that is bringing this situation leave you now there's someone you have a problem you have a problem swallowing even when you don't take anything it looks like you are swallowing something that never goes down you know just like some problem with your throat the lord is healing you now in the name of jesus christ the Lord is healing you. There is a child that is a sickler. The Lord is healing that child now. I'm seeing a child whose eyes is quite yellow like it is for sicklers SS. The Lord is healing that child now. In the name of Jesus. Appendicitis be healed now. Liver problems be healed now. Kidney problems be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus heart palpitations be healed now i say it again heart palpitations be healed now in the mighty name of jesus your right eye you're not able to see very well with your right eye the power of god is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus there's someone when you sit down it looks like your bone around the lower back area there's excruciating pain i decree and declare after this prayer you sit down and find out you are fine in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead i bring you life and healing high blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed High blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed i say it again high blood pressure be healed low blood pressure be healed severe burning sensation around your chest be healed now in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray now we're going to pray i wanted us to pray my god i don't know if we'll have the time to take testimonies there are two prayers the lord put in my heart and i want us to pray okay let's pray it. even if we don't have the time to testify we can testify another time please stand let's pray let's pray collate the prayer request have you submitted your prayer request please bring it out ushers 
let's let's have it very quickly thank you for your patience I intended for us to close early today we we'll still work with that time we have to be very very fast but there's a prayer that I want us to pray You can pass your request to the last person, the person by the extreme left or extreme right. That makes it easy for the ushers to pick. Let's do that fast. Um, the ushers need any assistance. Let's, let's do well to provide them the assistance as needed. If you need to pen down a few more things over your request, please do that very quickly. Please do that very quickly. Please do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. The first prayer we are going to pray is concerning the favor of God. Please listen. I know you will think that because you are part of a ministry with a grace for favor, it is working in your life. I found out that it is not working in the lives of many people. And the Lord put it in my heart. This was strong while we were in Canada that on my return we should take the time a few minutes to pray so we're going to pray that grace how do you know that the favor of god is upon you men will show you unusual kindness they will show you unusual acceptance they will show you unusual access are you ready to pray shout it say father in the name of jesus let the grace of favor begin to speak in my life open your mouth and pray please pray this would be a major reason why someone came to church tonight. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. A major reason. Please pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Someone pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Favor. A redefiner of possibilities. Favor. The unique edge to business, the unique edge to ministry, the favor of God, provoked by value, provoked by relationships, provoked through prayer, provoked by the anointing. Go ahead and pray. Let favor rest upon me. That if I did not receive anything in tonight's service, let me carry that grace. Let me carry that grace. Someone pray. Let me carry that grace. Let it speak redefining my finances. Let it speak redefining my opportunities. Let it speak redefining my realities. Online, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. There is a grace called favor. It can come on men. The results can be evident, bringing acceleration to your life. That whilst you serve the purposes of God, you advance with dignity, you make progress with dignity. Favor can redefine your marriage. The favor of God can redefine your family. It is not unmerited. Favor is merited. Favor is programmable. Favor is merited. Favor can be programmable. Pastor, declare favor upon your life, favor upon your ministry, favor upon your business, access to kindness, access to unusual acceptance. In the name of Jesus, unusual kindness, unusual acceptance. Pray favor over your business. In addition to your productivity, you need favor. Pray favor upon your ministry. In addition to your diligence and consecration and love for Jesus, you need favor. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this final prayer with all your heart. Jesus was teaching us how to pray and he said two things. Number one, he said, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Is the second prayer I penned down while in Canada, the Lord put in my heart. 
Many of you do not know the mystery of calamities. Listen to my message, Deliverance from Calamities. You don't have to be an evil person to be a victim of calamities. Are we together now? Mishaps, misfortune. It says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Did you know there are people who walk head on and collide with calamity? Head on. They are looking and you will think they are watching until they collide with calamity. Deliver us from evil. Are you ready to pray? Shout it. Say, Father, I decree and declare that the rod of the wicked will not come near my dwelling. I am delivered from trouble, from pain, from setbacks, from calamity. Go ahead and pray. Please open your mouth and pray. Calamity of any and all sorts. I'm escaped like the bird before the net. The rod of the wicked. Someone pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked. The rod of kidnappers. The rod of armed robbers. The rod of evil men. The rod of ill, ill speaking men. The counsels of Ahithophel. The rod of the wicked. In your place of work, Koinonia pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. In your business endeavor, deliver me from evil. Deliver me from the scourge of the tongue. Deliver me from the ill wishes of wicked men. Deliver me from there that will not rest till they see your tears. Those who have vowed not to rest till they see your pain. Those who have vowed not to rest till they see you defeated. Those who have vowed not to rest. Pray, deliver me from there who are in fraternity with dark spirits. Looking forward to your downfall. Looking forward to mishaps happening to you. One more minute you are praying. Stretch that prayer to your children. Stretch that prayer to your spouse. Stretch that prayer to the works of your hands. Oh, I escape like the bird before the snare of the fowler. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there are people who have no business hating you, except that they kept companies and they transferred the hatred of antagonists to them and it fell on you. Your boss used to love you until someone who does not like you told your boss to join them in hating you and now you are fighting battles you cannot explain. Let me tell you the truth. It is your responsibility to sanitize your environment and that through prayer. Are we together now? The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. When a gatekeeper speaks evil about you, it can peg your destiny. When a, an evil person gets to the ears of your helper before your arrival, they can bring whispers of, this, of, of demons. And by the time you arrive from their ears, their hearts have been poisoned. When they look at you, they say, I've changed my mind. My intention was to lift you. My intention was to wipe your family. But somebody came and told me, your family is not worth helping. And they recycle seasons of pain. Let me pray for someone. Anyone who has sent a wrong word to the ears of your helper. And without you knowing that your helpers have had things about you. That is responsible for the antagonisms. I'm praying for you. Be delivered this night. Be delivered this night. 
be delivered this night from the scourging tongues of men be delivered this night in the name of Jesus please stretch your hands to this prayer request stretch your hands and begin to speak as an act of faith we don't do this as a ritual no if God does we don't have to do it in a miracle service no it is always because we have a release by the Spirit of God it is no ritual at all this is God visiting his people if you are bringing the request please bring it quickly everyone you are praying father answer me by the power of the Holy Spirit you are not just a prayer hearing God you are a prayer answering God let me not have to repeat these things I've written again satisfy me early with your mercy someone is praying satisfy me early take a minute to pray you are investing you wrote for your husband you wrote for your wife now pray for them you wrote for your children now pray for them you came to church receiving believing for someone else pray for them in the name of jesus christ pray for them pray for them father you are a prayer answering god i lay my hands over this request answer your people give them testimonies let it come to pass let it come to pass let it come to pass that you have shown them faithfulness let it come to pass that you have shown them mercy let it come to pass that you have turned their captivities let it come to pass in the name of jesus that the doors have been opened let it come to pass and upgrade to the quality of their lives let it come to pass visit them impossible miracles in the name of jesus for in jesus name we pray for in jesus name we pray father i lift my hands bowing my knees before your people in the name of jesus i declare over every request here may it come to pass that the answers be delivered to your people speedily may it come to pass that the sickness is finally gone may it come to pass that the job has arrived may it come to pass that the baby has finally arrived may it come to pass that the visa finally came out may it come to pass that the relocation worked may it come to pass that the promotion happened may it come to pass that the cancer is gone may it come to pass that you now own your home may it come to pass that abuja has opened up for you whatever is consistent with god's desire as represented in this request i declare speedy answers the prophetic word for you over this this request is that it will come to pass in jesus name we pray lift your hands to receive the blessing i pray for you in the name that is above all names doors open koinonia receive it doors open every nation that has rejected you not after this service i decree and declare let the gates be open for you I say it again every nation that has rejected you not after this service in the name of Jesus let the gates be open for you whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper I shorten the distance between you and your helper in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare everyone who forgot you may they remember you tonight not tomorrow may they remember you tonight may they remember you for good may they remember you for kindness may they remember you for promotion may they remember you for lifting may they remember you for help may they be instruments of restoration in the name of Jesus anyone who has said where is your God may this week be their answer from Monday to Sunday let there be testimonies that show where your God is in the name of Jesus and any covenant with hell with the grave 
with the spirit of death we severed that covenant now let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry may your hands be strengthened that this remaining part of the year you will work valiant you will do ministry with power you will bring great glory to the name of the Lord let me pray for a family here in spite of what may be happening around the nation I pray for you may a mark of exemption land on your head a mark of exemption let it rest on your head in the name of Jesus if you must travel no accident if you are in the air no plane crash I decree and declare you must travel let the angels go before you clearing out wicked men from the road in the name of Jesus I pray for your children you will not hear bad news you will not hear they've joined occult groups you will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others in the name of Jesus your portion in this Abuja let it be delivered to you your portion in Nigeria let it be delivered to you your portion across the globe let it be delivered to you in the name of Jesus I prophesy no more delay no more delay for your job no more delay for your papers no more delay for your children no more delay let me pray over your spiritual life fresh fire on your prayer altar shout amen fresh fire on your prayer altar you are loving Jesus with all your heart serving Jesus with all your heart I declare the grace for the study of the word let it rest upon you I separate you from wicked people I separate you from evil people in the name of Jesus you will not beg for food to eat let strangers be sent by God to help you in the name of Jesus in your place of work good news this week I say it again in your place of work good news this week in your business enjoy good news this week whatever you're waiting for it arrives speedily in the name of Jesus wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise for tonight thank you thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father for someone difficulty has come to an end you have enjoyed progress but with difficulty now step into the realm of ease over your finances may God give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places oh you will find treasures this week your eyes will see where others will not see in the name of Jesus amen and amen very quickly please allow me to make the altar call as we wrap up the service thank you for your patience it is always a joy and delight to lead somebody to Jesus whoever you are when the master calls it is because he loves you when the master calls it is because he wants to end negative seasons over your life it is for your sake that we're taking out a minute or two wherever you are you're saying apostle please do not wrap up this miracle service for july without giving me an opportunity i want to surrender everything to jesus i want to receive his life wherever you are or you are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life please carry your bags your bibles whatever you came to church with we're going to count one to five as we appreciate them please leave your seat very quickly and come and stand before me god bless you many are already coming many are already coming join them you know you need to be here jesus is calling you go ahead one koinonia let's celebrate them as they come this is on to jesus two god bless you ma'am god bless you sir young old male female come three please if they are coming from outside clear the way for them very quickly all the overflows take a minute to walk to your led screen let's do that as fast as you can four when i count five i begin my prayer come god bless you you're joining them please make that fast your bags your bibles everything you came to church with join them very quickly final count five hallelujah thank you so much my dear brothers and sisters it is a delight for me and for us as a family to lead you in this most important prayer you've heard me say this is the most important decision any man can make 
on this side of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. May I please request that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender to Jesus. High above your head, you say this after me as loud and clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus and your life into my heart. I declare that I'm a child of God. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, we love you and we thank you. Thank you for these precious ones you have brought. I pray in the name of Jesus upon the integrity of your word and based on their confession, we call them bona fide recipients of your life. And I decree and declare that they are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus going from glory to glory, grace to grace. I decree and declare that your Christian experience will go from glory to glory. You won't go up today and down tomorrow. May the Lord protect and preserve you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share and subscribe. Thank you.